Judges 3. Now these are the nations which the Lord left to prove Israel by them, even as many of Israel as had not known all the wars of Canaan, only that their generations of the children of Israel might know to teach them war at the least, such as before knew nothing thereof. Namely, five lords of the Philistines and all the Canaanites and the Sidonians and the Hivites that dwelt in Mount Lebanon from Mount Baal Hermon unto the entering of Hamath. And they were to prove Israel by them to know whether they would hearken unto the commandments of the Lord, which he commanded their fathers by the hands of Moses. And the children of Israel dwelt among the Canaanites, Hittites, and Amorites, and Berizzites, and Hivites, and Jebusites. And they took their daughters to be their wives, and gave their daughters to their sons, and served their gods. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and forgot the Lord their God, and served Balaam and the groves. Therefore the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he sold them into the hand of Shushan Rishathen, king of Mesopotamia. And the children of Israel served Shushan Rishathen them eight years. And when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel, who delivered them, even Othaniel, the son of Canaz, Caleb's younger brother. At the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he judged Israel, and went out to war, and the Lord delivered Shushan Rishathakim, king of Mesopotamia, into his hand. And his hand prevailed against Shushan Rishathakim. And the land had rest forty years, and Othaniel, the son of Canaz, died. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord strengthened Eglon and the king of Moab against Israel, because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. And he gathered unto him the children of Ammon and Amalek, and went and smote Israel and possessed the city of palm trees. So the children of Israel served Eglon, the king of Moab, eighteen years. When the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised them up a deliverer, Ehud, the son of Jerah, a Benjamite, a man left-handed, and by him the children of Israel spent, sent a present unto Eglon, the king of Moab. But Ehod made him a dagger which had two edges of a cubit length, and he did gird it unto his raiment unto his right thigh. And he brought the present unto Eglon, king of Moab, and Eglon was a very fat man. And when he had made an end to offer the present, he sent away the people and bare the present. But he himself turned again from the quarries that were by Gilgal, and said, I have a secret errand unto thee, O king, who said, Keep silence, and all that stood by him went out from him. And Ehud came unto him, and he was sitting in a summer parlor, which he had for himself alone. And Ehud said, I have a message from God unto thee. And he arose out of his seat, and Ehud put forth his left hand and took his dagger from his right thigh and thrust it into his belly. And the haft also went in after the, the blade, and the fat closed upon the blade, so that he could not draw the dagger out of his belly, and the dirt came out. Then Ehud went forth through the porch, and shut the doors of the parlor upon him, and locked them. When he was gone out, his servants came, and when they saw that, behold, the doors of the parlor were locked, they said, Surely he covereth his feet in his summer chamber. And he tarried till they were ashamed, and behold, he opened not the doors of the parlor. Therefore they took a key and opened them. And behold, the Lord was fallen down dead on the earth. And Ehud escaped while they tarried and passed beyond the quarries, and escaped unto Sarirath. And it came to pass when he was come when he was home, that he blew a trumpet in the mountain of Ephraim. And the children of Israel went down with him from the mount, and he before them. And he said unto them, Follow after me. For the Lord hath delivered your enemies, the Moabites, into your hand. And they went down after him and took the fords of Jordan toward Moab, and suffered not a man to pass over. And they slew a Moab at that time about ten thousand men 
all lusty and all men of valor, and there escaped not a man. So Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Israel, and the land had rest for four years. And after him was Shamgar, the son of Anath, which slew of the Philistines six hundred men with an ox god, and he also delivered Israel. Judges 4. And the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord when Ehud was dead. And the Lord sold them unto the hand of Jabin, king of Canaan, that reigned in Hazor, the captain of whose host was Sisera, which dwelt Hazarosheth of the Gentiles. And the children of the and the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, and he had nine hundred chariots of iron and twenty years he mightily oppressed the children of Israel. And Deborah prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. And she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel and Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. And she sent and called Barak, the son of Abinom, out of Kadesh, Naphtali, and said unto him, Hath not the Lord God of Israel commanded, saying, Go and draw toward Mount Tabor, and take with thee ten thousand men of the children of Naphtali, and of the children of Zebulon? And I will draw unto thee to the river Kishon, Sisera the captain of Jabin's army, with his, with his chariots and his multitude, and I will deliver him into thine hand. And Barak, Barak said unto her, if thou wilt go with me, then I will go. But if thou wilt not go with me, then I will not go. And she said, I will surely go with thee, notwithstanding the journey that thou takest shall not be for thine honor. For the Lord shall sell Sisera into the hand of a woman. And Deborah arose and went into Barak to Kadesh. And Barak called Zebulon and Naphtali to Kadesh. And he went up with ten thousand men at his feet, and Deborah went up with him. Now Heber and Kenite, which was of the children of the Hoabab, and father-in-law of Moses, had severed himself from the Kenites, and pitched his tent into the plain of Zananism, which is by Kadesh. And they shewed to Sarah that Barak, the son of Abinom, was gone up to Mount Tabor. And Sisera gathered together all his chariots, even nine hundred chariots of iron, and all the people that were with him, from Haroseth of the Gentiles unto the river of Kishon. And Deborah said unto Barak, Up, for this is the day in which the Lord hath delivered Sisera into thine hand. Is not the Lord gone out before thee? So Barak went, Barak went down from Mount Tabor, and ten thousand men after him. And the Lord discomfited Sisera and all his chariots and all his hosts and the edge of the sword before Barak, so that Sisera lighted down off his chariot and fled away on his feet. Barak pursued after the chariots and after the hosts unto Herosheth of the Gentiles and all the hosts of Sisera fell upon the edge of the sword, and there was not a man left. Howbeit Sisera fled away, on his feet to the tent of Jael, the wife of Haber and Kenite, where there was peace between Jabin, the king of Hazar, and the house of Haber and Kenite. And Jael went out to meet Sisera and said unto him, Turn in, my lord, turn in to me, fear not. And when he had turned in unto her into the tent, she covered him with a mantle. And he said unto her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water to drink, for I am thirsty. And she opened a bottle of milk and gave him drink and covered him. Again he said unto her, Stand in the door of the tent, and it shall be when any man doth come and inquire of thee, and say, Is there any man here that thou shalt say no? Then Jair, Jael, Haber's wife, took a nail of the tent and took a hammer in her hand and went softly unto him and smote the nail unto his temples and fastened it into the ground, for he was fast asleep and weary, so he had died. And behold, as Barak pursued Sisera, Jael came out to meet him, and said unto him, Come, and I will shew thee the man whom thou seekest. And when he came into her tent, behold, Sisera lay dead, and the nail was in his temples. So God subdued on that day Jabin the king of Canaan, 
before the children of Israel. And the hand of the children of Israel prospered and prevailed against Jabin, the king of Canaan, until they had developed Jabin, king of Canaan. Judges 5. Then sang Deborah and Barak the son of Abinoam on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for the evening of for the avenging of Israel, when the people willingly offered themselves. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes, I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when thou wentest out of Seir, when thou marchest out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled. And the heavens dropped, the clouds also dropped water. The mountains melted from before the Lord, even this, even that Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel. In the days of Shamgar, the son of Anath, in the days of Jael, the highways were unoccupied and the travelers walked through byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. They ceased in Israel until that I, Deborah, arose. And I arose a mother in Israel. They chose new gods, then was war in the gates. Was there a shield or spear seen among 40,000 in Israel? My heart is toward the governors of Israel that offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye the Lord. Speak ye that ride on white asses, ye that sit in judgment and walk by the way. They that are delivered from the noise of archers and the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord even a righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake, utter a song, arise. Barak, and lead thy captivity captive, thou son of Abinol. Then he made him that remaineth have dominion over the nobles among the people. The Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Out of Ephraim was there a root of them against Amalek. After thee, Benjamin among thy people out of Machir came down, governors, and out of Zebulon, they that handled the pen of the writer, and the princes of Issachar were with Deborah, even Issachar, and also Barak, for he was sent on foot into the valley for the divisions of Reuben. There were great thoughts of heart. Why abodest thou amongst the sheepfolds to hear the bleedings of the flocks? For the divisions of Reuben there were great searchings of heart. Jalid abode beyond Jordan, and why did Dan remain in ships? Asher continued on the seashore and abode in his breaches. Zebulon and Naphtali were a people that jeopardized their lives unto the death in the high places of the field. The kings came and fought, then fought the kings of Canaan and Teanach by the waters of Megiddo. They took no gain of money. They fought from heaven, the stars, their courses fought against Sisera. The river of Kishon swept them away, that ancient river. The river Kishon, O oh my soul, thou hast trodden down strength. Then there were horse hoofs, broken by the means of the prancings, and prancings of their mighty ones. Curse ye may rise, said the angel of the Lord. Curse ye bitterly, the inhabitants thereof, because they came not to help the Lord, to the help of the Lord against the mighty. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Haber, the Canaanite, be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. He asked water, and she gave him milk. She brought forth butter in a lordly dish. She put her hand to the nail, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer, she smote Sisera. She smote off his head when she had pierced and stricken through his temples. At her feet he bowed, he fell, he lay down at her feet. He bowed, he fell, where he bowed. There he fell down dead. The mother of Sisera looked out at a window and cried through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Her wise ladies answered her. Yea, she returned, answered to herself. Have they not sped? Have they not divided the prey? To every man a damsel or two. To Sisera a prey of divers colors, a prey of divers colors, of needlework. Of divers colors, of needlework on both sides. Meet for the necks of them that take the spoil. So let all thine enemies perish, O Lord. Let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might, and a land had rest forty years.